It's going to be a Friday without some fun entertainment, right? The <laughs> Irvindale Community Theater is here telling us all about the Drowsy Chaperone. So this is a fascinating musical you've put on. Welcome. And clearly, we called each other and we said, what are you wearing? <laughs> we all said red. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. Uh, fill us in on this show for people who aren't familiar with it. Yeah, sure. Um, it's a Broadway musical that was opened in 2006 on Broadway and it uh, starred Sutton Foster. And um, it's basically about a man who is kind of a recluse and he plays these old Broadway albums as his entertainment. Mm -hmm. And so he chooses, his favorite show is called The Drowsy Chaperone, which mm -hmm. is a fictional show. And um, it was created by these three people as an actual musical for actual people huh. and performed at their engagement party. But then they turned it into a Broadway musical. That's awesome. And so, yeah. And, um, and so anyway, it's uh, set in 1928. So it's all flappers and fun. And it's just 90 minutes of just pure silliness and fun and your and character yes got us talking <laughs> tell us about your role in this yeah so i play kitty um i'm mostly known as just kind of ditzy but i want to be the biggest star on the stage That's as well be such a fun role oh so much fun anything goes anything goes and all the characters are like that too we're yeah. just so off the wall yeah. and we're just super fun and everybody just has truly a great time on stage with each, with each of their characters yeah. as well and yeah the history about this i mean the importance of this in the community and you, the theater is also doing a really incredibly <laughs> important work speak on that well, um, Urbandale Community Theater has been a part of this community since 1996, and except for COVID, every year we've put on a major Broadway mm -hmm. musical during the summertime. One of the nice things about the, the um, Urbandale Community Theater is, is that we really try to incorporate intergenerational groups, so children, parents, and even grandparents mm -hmm. have all at the same time been in our shows. Okay. So it's a family experience, yeah. which is great, but it also promotes a really good sense of community. Yeah. And it is a completely volunteer organization. We don't have full-time staff or anything, so to put on that level of a show with volunteers says something about the commitment to our, to our community yeah. and, and the process. So yeah. it's a really good organization. It's gotta be so fun. It is. Involved in this, and I think from the volunteer aspect says a lot too because you yeah. think everybody's there because they just want to be mm -hmm. right yeah. exactly right. Yep. where can people find you when is the show we want all the deets <laughs> so um, we have a website if you google Urbandale Community Theater it'll pop up but um, I, I don't know if we have that graphic do we have that graphic of that if one? we do we'll pull it up all right if not, if not <laughs> no worries no worries because it's easy to find TV. so if <laughs> No worries. It's it's uh, so the website Urbandale Community Theater. Um, on there, you'll see a, a tab for tickets, so it's easy to find. Awesome. Um, the performances are on a Friday night, a Saturday night, and a Sunday matinee. They are the last two weekends in July. Perfect. So, yeah. yeah, it gives us some time to plan ahead. Yeah. Um, I always love you know the theater musicals, the energy you all bring. This is so. Amazing to see a group of volunteers that are so invested in the arts and community building. Yeah. I, I just love that. Uh, what do you want people to feel when they come? Obviously, you want them to have a good time. But, uh, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. what does it mean to you to be a part of this? Oh, well, for me to be a part of it, it's such a great community, and you just build so many friendships, mm. and it's so fun to see everybody up there when we're rehearsing right now, and they just do something new, and you think it's hilarious. Everybody is just we're all ready to like hang out after the show and everything yeah. too after rehearsal because you just become, those are your family, you know, for the months, the two months that yeah. we're rehearsing and everything. So we just want to spend as much time together and it's such a great community and so many friendships. And well, and I would say also, Samantha, that one of the things that this theater group does so well is that we take people at all levels. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes when someone auditions f to be on stage, they may not make it, but we will find a place for them in the crew or in some volunteer aspect. Okay. We really try to incorporate and work with everybody. And so that truly is a community theater. Ah, yeah. That's very encouraging <laughs> to hear. Love it. We're going to post this online so you can rewatch, get all the information that you need. Thank you guys for being here. Whoa, yes, thank you. Almost fell. <laughs> I am not quite ready for my on-stage performance. <laughs> I'm like falling apart over here. 